Here we see the biggest coal deposits ever deposited in the Earth's history in the Carboniferous period. As we move from the Devonian period, a very different time in the Earth's history in terms of climate, we move into a much wetter, cooler phase in the Earth's history into the Carboniferous. We see ice caps both in the northern and southern hemispheres and vast forests of giant lycopsids forming deposits which would ultimately fuel the Industrial Revolution. Within these vast Carboniferous forests evolved some creatures that would literally inherit the terrestrial environments. These included the amniotes. Unlike their tetrapod ancestors that relied upon a watery environment to both lay their eggs, reproduce, and had to stay close for the simple desiccation of their skin didn't allow them to leave the watery realm in which they thrived. Amniotes created their own private pond, literally an egg. The egg which could be laid away from water, so they broke that first crucial bond with that environment which they so relied on in their ancestral form. For the first time, creatures could push deep into these forests, laying their eggs in these beautiful, damp environments that would have persisted amongst these giant lycopsids. The vertebrates, for the first time, were beginning to conquer the land. The amniotes, which had created their own private ponds so that they may invade this terrestrial environment, diversified into multiple groups groups that include the synapsids that would ultimately evolve into our own species and includes all mammals. Also the diapsids, which would evolve into all reptiles, give rise to dinosaurs and ultimately birds. We can tell the differences between these different groups as a function of the skull structure. It's all to do with the variations in the openings in the skull. By studying the fossil remains of different amniotes, we can piece together a beautiful tapestry of the evolution of early vertebrates. And it is clear that the Carboniferous period in which these forests provided the perfect place for the crucible of evolution, this is one of those points in time that we have to study if we're going to truly understand the evolution of vertebrates.